what's up everybody? I'm Karen. This is Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures. And in this video, we're going to talk about our top five trails for Colorado. Now, we've been going to Colorado for a few years. For since 2017. Wow. So y'all did math. <laughs> That's a while. Uh, we've been going to Colorado since 2017 and have run just about every part of the state. Yes. We still haven't done the Northwest. We still haven't done the actual South around like Pagosa Springs area. I mean, I did a half marathon there, so I technically have ran a lot. I guess so. <laughs> so we've covered a lot of ground in Colorado. Nowhere near all the trails that there are. No. But in doing so, we've definitely got our favorites. I love them. And I bet very few of these are ones that you would, that you would think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to go into them. And Rob from Riviera Overland is partnering with us on this. He is. So we're going to have our top five, and at the end of the video... Bounce over to Rob's channel. I'll have the link in the description and watch his top five because they're not the same. Because because we, we haven't run all of his trails in his top five, and he hasn't run any of our trails. Because you know our Toyota. <laughs> 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 Let's get into it. Um, number five, and these yeah, these actually kind of are in order. Oh, um, are they? Kind of, yeah. I, I, I think know. so. Well, they're my word. I'm just here for a camera candy. <laughs> <laughs> Number five is one that we just ran uh, this past summer. And it's not really a, a trail. It's more of an area. It's, the, it's called the Flat Tops. And it's north of Glenwood Springs in the southeast corner of the White River National Forest. It's in the Enchanted Rockies. It's, it's along the, the Enchanted Rockies Trail. Yeah. Beautiful. I was blown away by just yeah. how gorgeous that whole area was. Yeah. And it, it, was, it changes. It goes from like these fields with beautiful flowers to this flat, rocky area where there's these marmots that are like, it looks like you're in like a troll village. It looks like, it looks like <laughs> old temples and stuff. Have yeah, fallen down. like Greek or something. Yeah, it's really cool. It's just so different than anything we've ever done because you, you climb up on basically onto this plateau and you're just up on the flat tops of this plateau for a long ways. Mm -hmm. um, I think we, we started on the transfer trail. And I, just right outside of Glenwood Springs, yeah. and did it until we got to um, a couple lakes. Yes, that we came a, our, that's my favorite camping spot. There's ever, so I think. many lakes up there. Whenever yeah. I took the drone up, we were at we were camping at one lake, and we just thought it was gorgeous. But then whenever I took the drone up, we could see like everything above, and we we're like, "Whoa!" That was gorgeous. And there's camping spots all around the lakes. Mm -hmm. Then we turned off on Blair Mountain, and so Transfer Trail and Blair Mountain was pretty much the two trails that we did in that area. And it was just absolutely gorgeous. It was it stunning. Was, because was. You're, you're on a plateau above 10,000 feet the whole time. Yeah. And, and, and then there's that all one these, ridge like, line, that one ridge line mm -hmm. that we got on, on, on the yeah. Blair Mountain. Be able to see the lakes down below that we didn't even get to see. There's just an advantage point from that height up yeah. to be able to just take it in. It's all, it's, it's pretty overwhelming. It is. And there's a, there's a lot of trails in that area too that we did not explore. So we will definitely be back to, oh, for to sure. the flat tops. Yeah. And I could definitely, I could... I could stay up there and probably do like camping just along the way and just stay in that area yeah. for a while. Oh, definitely. Because it was just gorgeous. It is. It's special. Number four on our list is Holy Cross. I love that trail. It's probably the most technical, hard trail uh, for the Jeep badge of oh, honor there. It's, it's hands down the hardest Jeep badge of honor I trail. I would think Because we've it done is. them all. Yeah, and I definitely think it is. Below that one is Poughkeepsie. Yeah, and, and by hard, one wall, like that one is all subjective, all technical, all the time. Yes, hard is very subjective based on the rigs, whatever. But it's very, very much you have to have a jeep that's built up. Yeah, I mean, I think if you're in a stock, like my Grand Cherokee, oh no, have done that. no, 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 but a stock two door. Oh yeah, Rubicon. Yeah, stock two door JL Rubicon on 33s, lock yeah. front rear. Stock sort of wheelbase. Yes. I think it would be okay. Yeah. I don't know if I'd take a stock... Like uh, I'd take a stock four-door. Like, yeah. I don't know if I'd take a stock four-door. The wheelbase, I think you can hunt it too much. Yeah. But we had such a blast on Holy Cross. And we I mean, we do love running the technical trails. Uh, I do. As I'm, well a, as I'm a the, rocklander. Yeah. As well as just, you know, the long-distance overlanding. We love both. And for all the technical trails we've run in Colorado, mm -hmm. Holy Cross is hands down my favorite. Do you think we could have made it if we hadn't had the guys that had came and helped us spot? Yeah. Do you think we would have made it okay? Yeah. Like without damage? Yeah, we would have. Okay. I mean, I made it up with them. You did. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would have taken a little bit longer. Yeah. Because they knew, they knew lines pretty well. Yeah. But that it, uh, creek 
afterwards. French it's, Creek. It's so pretty. French Creek is gorgeous. But it's also very, like you... You, you get your tires nice and slippery before you start climbing over the big boulders. Well, and not even that. There's <laughs> boulders in that creek that yeah. you're just like, it, it looks beautiful. And you're like, oh, this is just a creek cross. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. But Holy Cross, it's just north of Leadville, Colorado. And it's an out and back trail, eight miles round trip. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely not safe for stock rigs. But if you want to push your rig and, you know, it, it took us eight hours to run that. A lot eight, longer than what you miles. anticipated. It, it was. Yeah, yeah, it did. But we also had six rigs with us. So yeah. the obstacles on Holy Cross, I thought were just super fun. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it leads you to Holy Cross City. But along the way, there's difference. So there's like that creek. And then there's also the there's aspen trees. Yeah, the aspen trees are gorgeous. So at the very beginning where it's just one way in, it's just beautiful trails. And it's pretty tight, like in some of those places around those it boulders. Is. Yeah, but the aspen it's, trees are gorgeous. Yeah, in that area. yeah it's gorgeous. So Holy Cross, highly recommend, not for new, not for not for the inexperienced, not mm -hmm. for, um, not really for, for stock. I don't recommend stock rigs on it, um, unless you've got experience to wheel a stock rig on it. Also uh, would not recommend going by yourself. Oh, definitely not. Because you can't not. do winch. Yeah, they, they don't allow yeah. winching to trees um, on Holy Cross. There's a sign. Trail. Yeah. That stated that. So good to have someone in front of you that can get up the obstacle. Especially at the winch. end. Because some of those things you can't so see around. That was so dumb. That you can't winch the tree. Where are you supposed to winch from if you're I mean. in the lead? So anyway, we love Holy Cross. Number three on our list is Schofield Pass. Oh yeah, I like that one. It's a favorite of ours. We just we love Schofield Pass. It yeah. is located just north of Crested Butte. Crested Butte's one of my favorite towns in Colorado. And they have the best pizza. And they have the best pizza. But you also go through Gothic. Which I think is a Gothic really is a cool, cool spot. It yeah. is. Schofield Pass is an old mining trail that connects Crested Butte to Marble and has the reputation of being one of the most deadliest trails in Colorado. Yeah, the consequence level is very high. It is. And it's even so intense, uh, most of the people in our, in our friend group that have wheeled it uh, consider it more more pucker factor than Black Bear Pass. Yeah, just because you are right, and especially when you have to go, there's a boulder in the middle of the trail. Um, you kind of have to go around that. And like I said, it's complete sheer drop off. And it goes along this creek and it's- Crystal River. Yeah, or the river, I yeah, guess. And you fall it's, right into the river. Yeah. It's and gorgeous. It's, it's so beautiful, beautiful, but we, and we, we've also seen a GoPro footage of a motorcycle who's like who went, fell. Who went fell, off yeah. and their GoPro was still filming and it was just crazy and it's just those things that makes you very much on guard. It is and it's not I mean I wouldn't say there there are a couple sections that are definitely technical. No I wouldn't say it's technical at all. That one spot the double punch bowl. I mean you got the rock ledges and the no. punch bowls. You know, you know. No I think you just have I mean you just have to hug it. It's very narrow in yeah. a couple spots um, but no, I wouldn't say that there's anything technical because if there was technical on that trail, that would make it. Yeah, really I'd bad. say Schofield is totally safe for a stock rig. Oh yeah, because there's not any like big ledges or drop offs that sort of, of thing. Yeah. yeah, stock four wheel drive, uh, but it's just I, I love it because it's just so beautiful and it you is. do it, you do have the pucker factor that I, I think is I think it's narrower and just a little more intense than Black Bear Path. But along the trail, you've got um, like Devil's Punch Bowl, mm -hmm. which that you is went swimming gorgeous. In. Uh, highly recommend if you're into the to, to cryotherapy kind of thing, <laughs> which I'm not. I, I am now. That's <laughs> you're anything. You're gonna go. Your next time we go to school, yes, you're gonna jump in those bundles. Bet. Okay. Well, there we go. Subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be hitting Schofield Pass again this summer. I may jump off the and, top. No, you no, won't. I won't. But Devil's Punch Bowl is just one of my favorite waterfalls in the whole wide world, and it's got the bowl up on this the top crystal. level it's that beautiful. is so clear and it's so beautiful and it's so cold. I've been yeah. swimming in it twice. It's just snow. It's just snow melt. Yeah, it's all snow melt, so it's mm. stupid cold. And then you continue on from there, and at the end you've got the Crystal Mill, which mm -hmm. is an iconic. It's the most photographed thing in Colorado. And the I Crystal will Mill say, on that route to Schofield, it's two way. It is. It is two way. So that's what makes it. <laughs> that's a right. Because you intense. can you can encounter traffic, and there's no you got to back it up if you encounter traffic. Because this last time that we were out there, we did uh, coming around the corner after we passed the Punch Bowl. There was vehicles come in some people from actually Arkansas yeah and it was that just was, it was like you have to it was nuts. It, you have to scramble yeah it helps to have a drone to fly ahead to <laughs> scout the trail we've actually done that yeah um, so really it does did. help but if you want an amazing day uh, amazing day trip do Schofield Pass connect that to Lead King Basin mm -hmm. and then come back to Crested Butte via Schofield Pass and it's that's an mm -hmm. incredible day number two is Taylor Pass 
I love this trail. I I'm a, I'm a was my I'm a Jean and Pearl have always been my favorite until I did Taylor, and I loved it. Yeah, Taylor. It's just it's such a unique trail. Taylor Pass connects the Taylor Park Reservoir to Ashcroft and Aspen, mm -hmm. so it's in that Aspen area. It is. I think one of the most unique trails absolutely that we've ever done and it is it is rated difficult although i think i think moderate i, I, I think moderate just for, that there's just that climb at the end I mean, where you, you start have, out with a boulder field basically yeah but up, i'm but talking about at the kind of the end towards you're going up the main hill the overlook mm -hmm. there's where we messed up the trailer yeah so yeah but taylor pass um it's absolutely beautiful but what makes it unique and unlike any other is there's a half mile stretch where the creek spills out of the creek and onto the road. And so it, for mm -hmm. a good half mile, it very much looks and feels like you are driving up the creek. Feels kind of wrong. It feels kind of wrong, but it's, it's, it's not. And it's just, it's gorgeous and the rocks are slippery mm -hmm. in there. And so there's, there's some big rocks along Taylor Pass that you have to negotiate at the very beginning and then in the creek bed, then coming out of the creek bed was mm -hmm. so cool. And you turn, the, you turn this tight corner in through some brush and thickets and stuff and then come out and just this cool rock garden kind of area that mm -hmm. you have to climb up out of. Um, and there's a lake the down there where you can camp and, at. Yeah, there's Taylor Lake at the top. Uh, on the back side of it is, it's just, a, it's a very narrow shelf road mm -hmm. that drops down in through some Aspens and into Ashcroft. That kind of reminds me of it Overpass a little bit. A little bit, yeah. you come out of there, but yeah, the was, creek is what makes it. Like, I'd love to see that in the fall. Yeah, I that can't, I can't, I, it's the trail that I'm excited to do again this summer. Yeah. When we take, when we take Keely there. Yeah, uh, it's just beautiful. Yeah. If you want another amazing day that's not uh, an out and back, but an, start in the morning, end in the evening, full day of wheeling, connect Taylor Pass, which is number two, to our number one favorite trail in Colorado, connect Taylor Pass to Pearl Pass. Yeah. Pearl Pass is incredible. It's you long. Have to, you it's have like 22 it miles long. Because it's usually the last one to open. If it opens. If it opens. Yeah, we've been to Colorado and wanting to run Pearl Pass, but it never opened because they don't, unlike a lot of the other trails in Colorado, they mm -hmm. don't plow. Yeah. They don't plow, plow Pearl Pass. So along the trail, there's probably every type of terrain that you would see over all of Colorado. There's the oh, yeah. rocks, Pearl's there's got the it all. fields, there's, I mean, everything. There's sand, even in some of the, like the... Yeah, it's got, it's got rock ledges, so it's, it's yeah. got some definite technical spots that... Uh, What's well, an issue to some of our rigs, especially yeah. when it's wet. It's yeah. little, and there's <laughs> winching up that's real challenging, as we found out, because there's not any major winch points. We just had John. He pulled yeah. us in. Uh, it's got multiple water crossings. So water crossings. It's got technical ledges. Boulders. It's got a boulder field. Mm -hmm. It's got alpine tundra up mm -hmm. at the top with Over the it. most amazing views. I'm pretty from sure up that's there. where a cow pooped on your vehicle that one time. We, that was come down the bottom. we came across that cows. Was down the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that was on the back side and the bottom. Uh, on the back side, you've got aspen forest, yeah. aspen groves that you're going through, more water crossings. Uh, it's 22 miles long, so it is a long trail, but oh my gosh, it is worth it. We've now done Pearl Pass twice. Yeah. I'm and super pumped with to do it camper. again. Oh, yeah, both times we did it with we camper. We took it with we camper. We our camper across it. Yeah. Pearl Pass, I think, is, is just my all time favorite. It's so beautiful. I don't know that it's my favorite. Why well, you your, well, your favorite, that that's a good segue, because your favorite, we can't cover, because Rob is covering your favorite. I don't even know that that's my favorite anymore. You don't know that Imogene's your favorite anymore? I loved Imogene. Okay, well, what do you think is your favorite, since we've already completed most of this video, and we've already done our top five, and now <laughs> she's throwing in an, uh, a, a bonus. <laughs> I don't really have a bonus, except for, I will say, and this is basically, it's more about the experience. Paradise Divide at the top of Crested Butte. That's View. a dirt road. I know, but it was gorgeous. That's a great place to camp. Yeah. Yeah. But well, what's your favorite? You said you didn't know if Pearl was your favorite. What's your favorite? What's my favorite? Probably Taylor. Oh, you would flip them? Uh-huh. Taylor and Pearl? Yeah, I okay. think so. But I'm really into more of the technical. Oh, well, yeah. So, but honestly, honestly, right now, my favorite out of this whole list is Holy Cross. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Just because I schooled y'all. I was picking the good lines. You yeah. almost rolled on Holy Cross. No, I did not. And you had to winch on Holy Cross. Guess who didn't have to winch? Oh, I did have to winch on Holy Cross. I did not almost roll. You did too? It's no, in the video. There was a whole, no, that was just a video edit. <laughs> 
stop it. <laughs> Did not. And then that one part where mm -hmm. people struggle to get up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't struggle. That's because you're a long ass boat. Words. <laughs> so. Okay, so home number one is Holy Cross. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. We do have one honorable mention that just because it's just so iconic. And that's kind of the reason why it is on. And that's why it's on there. Because yeah. we, it's one of the things that it's everybody that has to do it. Right, and it's not. It's Black Bear Pass. Yeah. Black Bear Pass. That it, as you notice, we none of our none of our trails were in the San Juan Mountains in the Uray area. Because they're just everybody does those. Just yeah, that's where everybody goes. It's yeah. the most it's the most crowded place. But if you've never done Black Bear Pass, it is very intense. It is not diff. It is not that difficult. I mean, I would wheel it in a bone stock Jeep mm -hmm. Sport, uh, bone stock Forerunner. Uh, it's just got it's got one spot that gets tipsy, gets really tipsy with IFS rigs, and it's it's all newbies that roll there because so when you think you're they to be start to lift the, a tire yeah, and the they, brake. they hit the brake instead of just, just roll rolling it out, and they that makes them flop. Just but roll. that's it. That's, that's the just only spot. Roll. Uh, but Watch me roll. not a lot of difficulty really because it's a county road, honestly. Stop. <laughs> but the 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 consequences are very high. Yes, I would very, not very I would high. not ever do that trail after a rain, during oh, a rain. I oh I, well you're dumb. Because if you see all those landslides, I know I it's would right do. through I there. Know, and like doing. a vehicle just goes right rolling in front of you and yeah. the next thing you know, you're dead. True. Or but you're in tell your eye and you died happy. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable mention Black Bear Pass. Uh, so if you have enjoyed this video, uh, at the end of this, hop out of it, go over to Rob's channel, Revere Overland, and check out his top five because they're very different than ours. He does have Imogen, and I do like that one, so you may want to see what he has to say about that. Imogen's a good one. That's... I can't wait to see some of his because I bet they're just gorgeous. Oh, absolutely. And you know, his British drone footage is just incredible. Let's be British and have to have to fly on a drone. Apparently, it makes you better. RAF drone pilot? Makes you better. <laughs> hmm. Anywho, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you would, give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And if you like the content that we're putting out and want to support this channel, check out the Patreon link in the video description below and gain access to special content and events and all of our GPS data for all these trails and stuff, campsites and that Facebook we found along. And community too. And we have a new Facebook community yeah. just for our patrons. So, and um, Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise. Shopoverlandapparel.com. I don't have it on because I was sporting Colorado. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye guys. Bye.